And welcome back to the channel. Now I'm going to be going over with you how to update the firmware on your new Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic 2 Zoom. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using the Mavic 2 Pro, although the steps are going to be the same regardless of the Pro or the Zoom version. Now when you first get your drone and you uh, charge up the battery and you plug it in and you activate your drone, um, you'll probably get to the front screen here and it'll show on there new firmware update is available. So when it shows that there's new firmware firmware update available. Um, it's super simple to install and use. So first off, go ahead and click on the little eye there and it'll basically explain everything here on the actual aircraft, um, what the update includes, um, the size of it, as well as the version. Now go ahead and take a look through there and you can see, of course, any new additions that are made uh, or updates. And you can skip updates sometimes. However, um, a lot of times you miss out on, on features and everything that you might otherwise have access to. Um, so go ahead and update. Um, if you're really concerned, you can wait uh, to see what other people's reactions are to the, the update, but generally keeping your drone updated is the best thing to do. When you're looking at the screen here, there's a couple different things that have to be updated. The Mavic has to be updated, your controller has to be updated, and so do the batteries. Now the batteries are going to be separate and individually up updated. And when you put the battery into the drone, if there is a firmware difference, it will stay, hey, there's a firmware difference between the battery and the drone, do you want to update? And of course, just go ahead and update to keep everything happy and working properly. When you're at this screen, you can go ahead and hit download now, and that update will download. Now, I will say that I'm a very big fan of downloading updates and doing drone updates uh, through your computer. I've had issues before using my phone or tablet to update uh, the drone. Um, the issue that I ran into, I've actually got a video about it, but it actually bricked my, my Mavic Pro controller and basically the controller was not operating and it would not turn on. So I would highly recommend updating through the computer if you have the opportunity, um, as it's the, the safest way that you can update your firmware for the controller as well as the drone. Now to update it on the computer, you're gonna need to download uh, the updater. So I'll have a link down here in the bottom on uh, the DJI website so you can take a look at that and download that when you need to. Now after the tablet or phone or computer has downloaded the actual update, then it will transfer that uh, firmware to the aircraft. And not only that, there will be a uh, little upgrading uh, screen flashing on your controller so that way you know that it is up updating. Um, you'll see, of course, the little screen here on your tablet or your phone, um, but then you also get the little screen on the controller to show what it's doing as well. Now, I do recommend taking care of all updates prior to leaving the house. So if you're going on vacation, check for updates, or if you're going on a shoot, make sure you check for updates before you leave the house, um, as there's nothing worse than getting to a new place and seeing that you need new firmware to be updated um, when you're out in the field. And sometimes you don't have good cell phone reception or the file is large. You know, in this case, it's over 200 megabytes. And so depending on your phone plan or carrier, of course, it'll either restrict that or use up all of your data. And now that the drone itself has been updated, it's going to switch over and start updating the remote controller. And when you're finished, it'll say update complete and you are all set. So go ahead and hit okay. And the little uh, info there in the corner will show update complete. So you can click on that and it will check the firmware again on everything, but we should be set since we just updated it. And from there, go ahead and hit start flight. And if you're out in a spot where you can fly, um, you can go ahead and do so. Enjoy the new drone. Um, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll have a lot more Mavic 2 stuff coming out and I'll see you in the next video.